if you click to check out the newest addition to Sonia G's face pro series her designer pro brush then please keep on watching if it's your first time here hi my name is Alicia thank you so much for coming and if you are returning well thank you for coming again kinky sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life I am a fitness professional who loves things all movement and beauty if you want to check out what I do in between the makeups you can head over to my Instagram a huge thank you to Sonya G and Beautylish for sending me the designer pro brush I am very honored very very honored to be recognized as someone worthy enough to present her tools which i just think so highly of is a complete and humble honor and i can't thank you sonia enough thank you so much thank you to the squad at beautylish again for always being so prompt in sending me these items i am forever grateful and a lot of you had tagged me when it was going to be announced that the designer pro was joining her face pro series so we are very excited about that this is still available on beautylish.com i'm not sure what the availability will be by the time i upload this video but at this time right now it's still available 46 dollars, and yes it is expensive but if you are just tuning in hi my name is alicia and i am a sonya g addict sonya g brush are handmade in Kumano, Japan. They are known for their brush making. It takes several brush artisans to create one tool and the craftsmanship that goes into these brushes is very much reflected in the price. You are investing in a tool that will last you for a very long time if very well taken care of and of course will give you the most beautiful finish with your makeup. I have the pro set. If you want to check out that video, I will link it up above and down below. This is joining the fam. I'm sorry I don't have all the brushes with me but I wanted to quickly go over the details of this little guy. I did wash the brush. So this is its full fluff potential. And I do have Sonia's blog post here on hand. I highly recommend that you check it out. I will link that blog page down below. Just so you can read all her comparisons between the brushes in her face pro sets. Sonia says here she wanted a brush that would be precise but not too sharp. Soft yet strong. Thin but not floppy. Dense yet airy. It's all about finding the perfect balance to get the most use out of it. Makeup is art and it matters to have fun with the application whether it is on ourselves or on others. Very true, Sonia, very true. The Designer Pro has some nice flexibility in the upper part of the head. So she's referring to this portion of the brush. You see that despite it looking dense at the base of the ferrule, which is curved, by the way, I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but I will get in. So you can see how it's slightly curved here. A flat ferrule will look like this. This is her face pro. If you see them side by side, you can see how this is flat and how this is curved. It's gonna give the brush a little more volume, but because of how it's tapered, it's still gonna have that fluff and diffusing capability when applying your products. We're looking at dyed psycho whole goat hair. So it is designed to be used with powders and it is almond shaped if you look at it from the side now she did mention on her blog post that the curved ferrule is not suitable for all brushes it all depends on how she wants that brush to go in terms of roll and application so depending on what she wants in a brush will determine whether it will have a curved ferrule or not but it's so interesting to read up on the different designs and why she decided to do what she does and I really admire Sonia's brain in in short to design brushes that just are so multitasking and that is key especially when you're investing in these because they are expensive again but they do several things they're not just for one portion of your makeup routine they are for several and that's why if you see i look a little flat i only have my foundation on as well as some concealer so let's dive in a little closer and put the designer pro to work that's enough. Right now, I just have concealer and my foundation, as I said, and Sonia had mentioned in her blog post as well, it could work with blush, blush toppers, highlight, sculpting. You can use it to set your under eye concealer. Oh, that's what we'll do. To reach corners and work with more precision just where you need it. Well, let's do it. My Shiseido pressed powder came in the mail and it is basically the pressed form of the loose powder so i thought i would give this a shot let's set our concealer now with our designer pro this brush is incredibly soft as all sonia brushes are no surprise there but the shape is just perfectly suited for under eye the fact that i could get right where i need to go towards the inner part of my eye and the brush not having to be super small 
and it gets the product on fast, friends. That is no surprise. Incredibly soft, but as she said, it's still very airy in finish, and I think perfect for under eye, especially if you don't like a whole lot of powder on there. Well, that was fast. I'm just gonna set my brows a little bit. They look a little creamy. And then on the center of the forehead. Now for the rest of my face, I will love to go in with you know what, just for the sake of changing brands. I'm gonna go in with my mini Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. I'm gonna take some in the cap and go in with the Designer Pro. And just go in and around. Oh, this is great. Airy is right. Look at how that moves. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's incredibly flexible, without a doubt. Perfect for loose powder. Perfect for buffing, just from feeling this alone with setting my foundation. I can't even imagine how beautifully this will buff makeup. Well, that was easy. Going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Face in a Palette palette. Taking Designer Pro with the bronzer shade. I mean, that brush head is perfect for that pan size. Gonna now go in with, excuse me. I dabbed in again on the pan. Wow, this is fantastic for bronzer. I can imagine how great it is for contouring as well. I haven't been contouring much, that's why I'm not taking that step in this demo. But if you want a more precise placement of bronzer, the Designer Pro will do it for you. Incredibly soft. And also, you could just pat down as well. I dabbed in again. The brush head is just perfectly sized for the hollows of the cheekbones. Top of the forehead, oh man. Keep in mind, when using one brush for several tasks, just have a towel on hand to quickly wipe between applications because for instance, this bronzer has a little bit of sparkle. So if you don't want sparkle in any other part of your face, just make sure you are wiping clean before you go in with your next makeup product. Along the jawline as well. And because it is tapered, I'm gonna take a little bit, just lightly brushing right on the bridge and the nose. Amazing. That was so easy. <laughs> she mentioned blush topper. Do I have that? Let me see here. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. I went a little Shiseido crazy. <laughs> I'm going in with my Shiseido Inner Glow Cheek Powder. This is in Solar Haze. Actually, before that, I thought I picked up Aspen Glow. That is not Aspen Glow. Let's go in with Aspen Glow, like a peachy type of shade, using the Designer Pro, of course. Tapping off the excess and just dab. This is incredible. I, you know, this is not a surprise. Like, Sonia is never going to design a bad brush. But I'm just really happy with the application, how easy it is. The brush head is just perfect. Again, perfect for the under eye, perfect for your cheeks. You can pat, you can swirl, you can buff. Again, it's just dense enough to apply that right amount of product, but airy enough to still diffuse and buff. It's so lightweight. Look how it moves across the skin. Oh my goodness. Just going on the head again because I just want to blur that bronzer out. And the topper shade I'll go in with, now let's go in with Solar Haze. This is like their inner glow highlighter type of, but it's not super sparkly or metallic Ooh, but it's just beautifully easy to apply she was not kidding highlighter what we got what we got let's go in with Char's uh, bar of gold highlighter palette I was gonna swoosh across all three and just get it here on the chic bone amazing gonna do it here on this side I actually like to apply this on set face so let's go in Going in with Bar of Gold again, but now just lightly tapping on the high points of my cheekbones. This is the perfect brush if you don't love highlight, if maybe you've abandoned a highlight product in your collection because you just couldn't stand the texture it left behind. This brush is going to give you a lighter application of color than, for instance, the Fan Pro, which is probably going to put on a little more product. This is undyed goat hair, more of a workhorse type of bristle. I think it's the same, but when it's undyed, it probably gets a little more on there. But this is perfect if you just want that light wash of highlight, just enough to leave behind that radiance, but without the texture. It's gonna do that effortlessly. Done. Our face is done.
I know this wasn't a super long review, but what can I say? This is an outstanding brush from Sonia once again. I would say if you have been hesitant in buying a Sonia G brush because of the price, if you're just unsure, if you read bad reviews on it, I've been using her brushes extensively. She sent me this, but I have purchased some of her fundamental brushes, her eye pro set, her face pro set. Recently, she sent me the face sky set and now she sent me the designer pro. She did send me a few of her redesigned brushes and some brushes that I didn't have from her fundamentals collection. So I'm really grateful for that. But I mentioned that because I know we're in a day and age where people, when they receive free items, there's a bias, right? That of course they're gonna recommend it because they have it and they didn't spend their money on it. I can honestly say I spent money on Sony G brush I spent money on Wayne brushes, Chikohoro, Hakuhoro, and I only mention that because I know it's hard to trust someone's opinion about an item that's been sent to them for free. But let me tell you friends, if you have not dived into Sonia brushes and you're hesitant about buying several and maybe you just want to buy one, $46, you can save up on it and then get it maybe in a few weeks. I'm not sure if it's going to be sold out by then, but if you want to bite the bullet and drop the $46 now, you saw how multitasking it is. You saw how we were able to set our under eyes, apply our bronzer, our cheek topper, our blush, our highlight, and just diffuse and buff all over. That's your face routine, basically. Whether you love to apply your foundation with a beauty sponge or a brush, that's one step, but then you have one, two, three, four, five, six steps afterwards that you could perform with one brush, and it performs beautifully. If you want, let's take a look at this skin. Friends, I have foundation, loose powder, bronzer, highlight, topper, and blush. And yes, it's probably all due to Shiseido as well. I mean, Shiseido makes beautiful products, but the brush I feel also contributes to this flawless application. I mean, despite how many products I have on my face, yes, I know I'm a werewolf, so hairy. It's still smooth and it feels smooth. It feels baby soft. So again, without a doubt, I highly recommend the Designer Pro. It is truly an outstandingly beautifully designed brush. She was not kidding when she said designer pro. I mean, the fact that it could do so many tasks in one routine, the fact that you could apply any type of textured powder, whether it be loose or press, whether it be a blush, bronze or highlight, it could do it all and do it beautifully. If you're one that steers away from powder products because you felt that they always looked heavy on your skin, textured on your skin. It never looked like skin, despite a product's promise to look like skin once applied, and you just didn't have that right tool. I'm being dramatic when I say this, but Sona G brushes have really just changed my life. Alongside Wayne's and all the Japanese brand brushes that I have, my makeup has never looked better. And I could attest to that because I have been doing makeup for a very long time. Yes, I mostly do it on myself, but let me tell you, when I do apply it on other people, whether it be my friends or that random client that I have, I know the application is going to be flawless and seamless, especially when I use these brushes. So without a doubt, I highly recommend that you check out the Designer Pro. This is a great opportunity to maybe just buy one brush from Sonia, experience it, and really see how versatile it is in terms of makeup tasks. In terms of all the steps you could accomplish with this one brush, I think you will really love it. And of course, let me know down below if you picked yours up, if you tried it already, what your thoughts are on it. And if you have any further questions, let me know down below. We'll answer them together. And again, a huge thank you to Sonia and Beautylish. Thank you so much, friends. This is, I, I don't have any words. I, I just used this brush for the first time on this video. So yes, it is a first impressions. But listen, I've been using Sonia brushes for a very long time. And there's no surprise that that brush just blew me out of the water again. And with that said, friends, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, tutorial, get ready with me, or favorites list. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.